The Grade 6 Achievement Test, the GSAT, is coming up in a few days and this is probably the most nervous period for parents and students who are sitting the exams. At Scotiabank, we have scholars who have sat the exams and are practically experts at it. They are the top boy and top girl and the county scholars. So we have asked them to share with you their tips on sitting the exam. Joshua Grant from Arden Prep and Extension. I'm the 2014 Scotia Foundation top boy. My name is Deandre Kidd and I'm the Surrey County Scholarship winner for 2014. My name is Maya Arnold. I'm the 2014 Scotia Scholar for the County of Middlesex. My name is Liam and I am the 2014 top boy for the Scotia Foundation. I am Rana Blake and I am 12 years old. I am the 2014 Scotia Foundation top girl. This year, we are very happy to have for the first time in the Scotia Foundation Scholars Club, an honorary scholar, Julia Dunn. Congratulations, Julia. On behalf of Scotia Jamaica Foundation, we welcome you as an honorary member to our Scotia Foundation Scholars Club on your excellent performance at the 2014 Grade 6 Achievement Test. Congrats. In Grade 4, I did not know what GSAT was. So when I heard about it, everybody else knew it. I was kind of worried. I usually like did my homework, and then I would like take up a book start reading. My mom would come around and ask her what was doing to help. She had some practice GSAT sheets and she had books and she would give me practice tests to do and then she would mark them and then she kept score of those and see if I was improving or not. So. My preparation for GSAT last year was exhausting. It was overwhelming. I, What I did, I had study cards that I would write the more, the more difficult things to remember. I used to study a lot. I was, I was always a perform when I was little. So studying just kind of fell naturally to me. From grade four, I've been looking through my topics and revising, but I really started studying very hard at the end of grade five. I didn't really get to start studying for GSAT until like February because I had um, to do spelling bee, which ended in February. So. That was kind of tough. On Saturdays, I had to go from prep school Saturday class, I had to go to another Saturday class, I had to be reviewing, I got to my bed about 12 o'clock in all like every night. My tips to students sitting the GSAT examinations this year is that the day before GSAT, try to find something that makes you relax. Don't like say, I'm going to like mess up this exam, just Keep calm and like go through the things that you have learned in your head. Don't panic during the examinations because you do not know a question. Just put a mark beside it and move on through the paper. And when you finish the paper, you can go back to that question and try and figure it out if you have extra time. Read the instructions before you start and make sure you shade within the lines because that can cause troubles for you later on. Don't cram the night and the day before that adding more knowledge can make you forget stuff. We also spoke to some of the parents as to how they supported their kids during the exam. I'm the person, like a study partner. I did not send her to extra lessons or anything. She came home and we were like a team. We all work together every evening. Uh, homework is essentially a, a family activity in our house. What I did for Julia was I, I'm, I'm there with her in the night when she's studying. I don't leave her by herself. I'm there with her. She has a problem, I explain to her. I think you can't adequately um, help them. You can still offer your support, just the moral support, the reassurance. Encourage them, you know, not to, just to follow up on their daily school work and of course be in touch with the teachers. Another thing is do not stop your child from extracurricular activities. Blood flow is absolutely important in how the child performs at school. Who will be the top boy and top girl in GSAT 2015? We look forward to those names because those students will be awarded the Scotia Foundation Shining Star Excellence Scholarship as well as the others from the inner city schools who have topped the exam at our Scholars Luncheon next year. The Teller was brought to you by Scotia Bank.